Here we go. Love your play mat, by the way. I'm trying to figure out without you telling me what that card would be. Or is it a card? Do you know if the rabbit at all is a um, card? It is, and I, I, I used to know what it was because they had like, um, they had like a goblin rabble master version of the rabbit one. Yeah. And then this is one of the other ones that came along later, and I'm trying to. It's like I, I can't remember the name. Mm. It's like, uh, I, I, can, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to figure it out and let you know. But I, I, it, it is pretty fun. Yeah. It looks the part. My favorite is. Well, I say favorite. My favorite changes, but Grim Llama Mancer is right now my favorite. Mm. I'm a sucker for. Okay, so to see who goes first, Grim Llama Mancer. Ah, you got it this time. Okay. Six. Seven. Here we go. Hmm. This is. We can make it work. Maybe. We're gonna try it. Oh. Here's to hoping. Okay. Alright. I'll okay. keep. Cool. You're up. It helps to be on the draw, but he's a fast on? one. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those games. <laughs> Put Cycle Street Wraith on the stack. Okay. Crack lines of diamond. Aha! Fair enough. Yeah. I see Dredge 6. Draw 1. No. Draw 6. This is a. This is perfectly fair. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, use the three red. Yep. Dredge six more. Okay. After casting a fifth this one. There it is. I had it in the opening hand. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Hi, Nark. Trigger. There's another and one. And six. All right. Are you done? Not yet. We're getting there. Four, five, six. Okay, so price check. I see two bridges, there's a narc out, and no cabal therapies, but one Icarid. Yeah, this uh this is this is fine on turn one. Yeah. I'll take it. Go ahead. Alright. Well, I don't have anything quite that broken. Not quite. Alas. Instead... Instead... We're just gonna play a Tinder Farm tapped and pass the turn. Do you know what this thing is? It's the Naya Sackland. So it comes in tapped, it makes green normally, or by second it makes Boros. It makes red white. Interesting. Okay. That's it. Upkeep. Yup. Icarid. Which one are we getting rid of, Street Wraith? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I, the whole reason why they're in the deck now. Yup. Alright. Draw step. Dredge Those six. Those in the, the putrid imps. One, two, three. Gotta love this four. art on here. Five, six. We've got four bridges now, sir. Four. Yikes. Four bridges. And I hit a cabal therapy. It has a tinfoil hat. It has a hat, at least. <laughs> what? Right. The, the, the bunny. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, we will go to combat. Alright. I will swing four. Whee! Yep, I'm at 16. Um, we know what that does at end of turn. I'm gonna try and take something from you. I think I'll pass for now. Dies four bridge triggers. Whee! Zombies. Zambonies. Zambonies. Alright. Irrigation ditch. It's the bant one. Okay. Pass turn. 
All right, Jack Skellington, that chick from League of Legends, I think. I think you're right. Um. You, you can go, I'm just... Oh, okay. another chick from... No, no, she's Overwatch. She's Overwatch. Can't think of her name, though. Not Mercy. Ah! She's she has a jetpack. And a giant gun. I don't know. Dredge 6. Okay. Hey, hey, Nar... Oh, wow. This just keeps on getting better. <laughs> So much better for me. No, not at all. Oh. Wee. All right. No flamekin yet. No. So the payoff right now is Elish Norn. Yeah. Let's see. If I'm at sixteen, and you drop. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to see if you have lethal right now. No, because I don't have any way to dread return yet. Oh, you don't have a dread return? No, if I had dread return, you would yeah. be very dead. So one, two, three, that would leave one, two, three, four, five creatures. That's ten power on their own. Elish Norn comes out, gives them all plus two, plus two, that would be twenty. Yes, yeah. yes, so I would be very dead. Yeah. As it stands, we will go to combat. Okay. Okay, you hit me for ten. Yep. Um. I mean, if you want to therapy me here, I, I I don't know if you know if you have a clue what this deck is doing. I don't. That's the problem. <laughs> I will. Fair enough. Let it die for more bridge triggers. Yeah. This time we'll do different ones. How about a Sally and a Death? And a Michael Jackson. And an Undertaker. <laughs> All of the references. Let's just reference everything in our culture. Alright, and you have one card. No, no, no. You I have, have three, cards. three cards in hand. Okay, so I will draw. Okay, so I'll get to keep three cards after this. Spoiler alert. I have some shenanigans I'm about to do. Okay. I mean, no, you could never have figured that one out. Um, I'm actually still dead, aren't I? No, no, I'm not dead. I'm very, very close to it, though. Oh my goodness, Jay. You are gonna cut it close. It all depends. I, I actually don't want to show you what I'm doing, because I don't have it this game. I gotcha. really know that I don't have it, because of the particulars of what you have out. Yeah. Um. So, I am unfortunately going to be that guy. I'm going to scoot uh, before I know. here I gotcha. and hide some information. That doesn't, I, I admit, that doesn't feel entirely fair because I knew what you're on. But then again, even if I didn't know prior, I definitely know now. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see. Going into sackboards. All right. I will try. So, I will be on the play this time, and we'll see how this works. Uh, I'm going to guess not terribly well. No, we'll see. We'll see. Boink. Boink. Maybe I'll get the turn one kill. It's possible. I know it. I see seven. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. Wait, sure. Um, this is keepable. Just have to make sure I do this correctly, and we'll be fine. Alright, okay. you and... You. Okay, we're good. We're, we're gonna make it. Okay, I will keep as well. Alright. We're gonna start off with a tender farm and pass the turn. This is you, you know, Naya one. Draw. Naya Sackland. I will. Okay. I'll move to discard. Oh, yep. Go ahead. Yep. Silver Vent, mm -hmm. Pastor. Mm. Oh no, okay. I, I played that correctly. I thought for a half second that I could have done something different, but 
Actually, unfortunately, I could not. Alas. Alas. Think I want to take a regular draw? Oh. 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 I'm going to see uh, afterwards. Scared money don't make no money. Risk it for the biscuit. know if that's what you were looking for, but... It'll be fine. Yeah? To the hand. Land for turn. Oh, okay, you did have a land. Loot. Okay, okay, I see. That's... <laughs> you got me there for a sec. Alright, yeah, it results. Okay. Bridge six. Alright. One. See a bridge. Two. Three. Four. Need to do a Five. relevant card count. Six. Somewhere over there. <laughs> it gets it gets to encroach on my space. Yeah. <laughs> I do that every time I play someone. I'm always like, library no! stuff. <laughs> All right, six more. I don't mind. One. All right, another two, bridge. Three. There four. Okay. Five. Six. All right. All right. And then they get to go. Presumably those two. Maybe not. Bridges and a therapy man. That's it. And an arc amoeba. So if you think you know what I'm on, you don't. But if you think you do, no, it's fine. It's a it's a weird deck. Weird deck. Okay, I see. Dread Return Flame Kinzella. Okay. Alright, what do you say? Go ahead. <laughs> I mean... Now that I don't need it, it's okay, I guess. Well, you can do this a number of ways, and I think the right way is... I'm gonna tap this one for green, and sacrifice this one for yep. blue-red. Okay. Put my graveyard way up there. We're going to cast a Shardless Agent. Sure. And of course, Cascade. Tender Farm, Cathari Remnant. Now you see what the deck is doing. Ardent Plea, Deny Reality, Ancient Spring. You know, something a lot of these cards don't have in common, or do have in common, they can't be cascaded into. We're, uh, we're still going. At, well, sorry. And going. And we hit Rip. Okay. Alright, so you're going. And then Shardless Agent will resolve. Yep. And that's still out. And these randomly go on the bottom. Alright, there you go. So I haven't played a land yet. I'll elect to play... an Ancient Spring tapped, and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Yep. Draw. Actually works okay. Gemstone mod. Uh oh. Uh oh. Grab it down. Yeah. So I I I could get blown out by like an abrupt decay or a maelstrom pulse or a nature's claim here. Those are all options. Indeed. And this is how you get Aaron Campbell to block you. You play Rest in Peace against the Dredge deck. 
<laughs> oh. It's it's her favorite deck, so. Oh, I forgot. I took one earlier from. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm I, going to 18. I guess the life total does. We're going to tear. Out. Rest in peace. It has been torn, indeed. Uh, it's in the graveyard, or is it exile? It's in the graveyard, right? Um. It's exile. Oh, it's exile. Okay. Oh no, that does make sense. That does make sense. I was trying to I think of the, the effect that's done. The Dryad Militant versus Lightning Bolt or Path to Exile, th or not, that's a weird example. Uh, fatal Push thing? Yep. Attack for one. Alright. The Air Force has come in. Alright, down to two. Wall Therapy. Results. What would you like to name? I'm targeting me and I'm naming Golgari Grave Troll. Oh, okay. Hey, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Go ahead. That seems um pretty good. Um hmm. I don't want to die. That seems like it could go pretty poorly for me, for my health. I'm gonna sack it. Mm -hmm. Rip. Sure. Um, combat? Yep. Two. Okay. Evan Stronghold? Okay. Pass turn. It either mm -hmm. makes black or black black. Yeah, yep. sack it. By a second. Draw for turn. Swing one. Alright. Take one. Yep. Go ahead. Combat? Yep. Hiya. Sure. Sulfur vent. Sure. This is Grixis. Faster. I'm just gonna call them by their their shards now. <laughs> All right. It's convenient because if I say the name, it tells you what the primary color is, and so it tells you what the other two are, the ones around it. Okay. Get you back in there. Since I have my sleeves, my cards upside down, they start to fall out. Yeah. I'm a weird one like that. Yeah. Troll Ingrid. Mm hmm. Swing two. Alright. 16. Play land. Faster. I don't think I'll be needing you anytime soon, buddy. Two? Sure. At ten. That's that's right. Okay. Evan Stronghold again? Sure. Last turn. Draw. Sure. Other one. You have me at 14? Mm-hmm. At a moment of dirt there. A very technical term. Go ahead. Um future dim is Okay. Future dim is okay. Okay. Archaeological dig, either colorless or any color if I sack it. Mm -hmm. 
two. Sure. All right. Last turn. Draw. Three. Okay. Go ahead. Gonna sack this for green. Sure. Shard this agent. Okay. Sulfur vent, ancient spring, irrigation ditch, rip. Okay. Double rip because. Why not? Would you like to send this okay. one? I would like to go to combat. Sure. Two. Uh, okay. Another dig. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Sound of the cat. Yeah, cat. Yeah. Know anybody wants any cats? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Two. All right. Here we go. Let me at nine. Ooh. Pass. Well, actually. Sure. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, blue. Alright. So hard casting it. Yep. Alright. And I'm at eight, by the way. Oh no, I hard cast it. Yep. I cannot remember the last time I did. Hmm? Combat? Yep. Block yep. one. Fair enough. But you have one. Play a sulfur vent. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do that. I could have gone crystal vein into another cascade for the fourth rest in peace, but that seems a little stupid. All right, pass turn. Oh no, I couldn't. I, I'd missed the blue mana. I mean the white mana. Either the blue or the white mana. I could have one, but not the other. Two. Uh oh. Seven. Pass. You gonna do the uh, mana confluence concession? Mana concession. Can't actually play you, buddy. That's unfortunate. Alright. Stormcaller's boon. Let's see if I hit anything before the rip. Ardent plea. Does it cascade too? It does cascade. Okay. Yeah, I guess I do actually have to cascade. It's not a May. You're right. You're right. It's gonna be the the last rest in peace. Yep. Yeah. This deck does not need four rest in pieces because it cascades like this, but I don't know what other cards to put in. Basically, I want to have two of... I'm going to pull a Noah's Ark here. Two or three of everything that I can cascade into that totally shuts down decks that are prominent in Legacy. Yeah. It's a rest in piece for Graves. There's not really... Are there really artifact decks in the format anymore? I guess there's Mud, so I get Stony Silence for Mud and the occasional Affinity deck. Shout out to Paul Sauter. Yeah. And that's there was there was one legacy event in where was it Birmingham? Yeah. There was a Lodestone Golem Arcbound Ravager kind of style deck. Okay. In like the top eight. Huh. 
Fair enough. Yeah, I guess I, I should run some number of Stony Silence then. Oh, and uh, like Thorn of Amethyst or Damping Sphere, weird stuff like that for Storm. Yep. Yeah. We're a little bit more resilient than that. We. Like, uh, like I am the deck, but, you know. This is not my invention. This is my tweaking of a deck that's been around uh, very much on the fringes for some time. It's not exactly ever been a tier one deck, but I, I think it's creative, and I think it has a lot of untapped potential, and no reserve list cards. <laughs> no reserve list cards in here. Which I guess is important, huh? Yeah. I, I, these days, unfortunately, you know, I miss my old dual lands, but... <sighs> uh, but nothing. Okay, what do you say? Mm, I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep. Okay. Quick. And while you're mulliganing, I'm gonna show the camera why I'm keeping. Okay. So, I'm gonna start off. This is a card. Uh, I don't know how much of a card it is in this match, but, you know, it's worth a turn, maybe. And then, you know, you if I need it. And lots of this. But you'll notice, uh, one, two, one, two... I just have to kind of hope I get there. Alright. And while you're resolving your mulligan, I am going to plug the camera in. <laughs> just in case, you know, you never know. Even though you're on the play and probably going to just fly by me, you know, you, just in case. If it goes like that last one, even then, I, st I still think we'll be fine, but you never know. I will keep... All right. Scrum. Hey, hey, hey. Um. And also, letting that kind of battery fall to zero too often isn't great for its health, for its Bottom. capacity. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Oh, okay, so opening game. Oh, take that back. Take that back. It doesn't count yet. All right, so Chancellor of the Annex, you know, you know what that does. Imposes a little mana tithe rule. That's fine. All right. Um. So now with that knowledge, <laughs> all right. With that knowledge, great. Okay. YouTube, that's a that's an activated ability. Chancellor does not right. care. It ain't no thing. Which is a very technical magic term. Alright. Tinder farm? Pass. This is a uh, Naya. Okay. Draw. And this is the card I was saying I think is worth a turn. Pass. Uh oh. It counters it, right? Unless it, they yes, pay one. it counters okay. it unless they pay one. Just exactly mana tithe. Yeah. We're actually going to pop it immediately for a rip. Just getting it out early. Sure. Alright, and that's already turned sideways. This is the I don't even want to have to deal with that play. And then another tender farm and pass the turn. Draw. Hmm. Well, as much as I hate to, I'm going to concede. Because there's no way I'm going to win at this uh, point. Eh. Sorry. Oh, um, no, I was about to turn one. I own a you on white. If you hadn't had that Chancellor. Yeah, sorry. Because yeah. this was the hand. Yeah. And even with the Force, I'm pitching a Cascade card, and as it turns out, I wouldn't have gotten to one for like three turns. So, yeah, yeah even then, that's not quite... With two Lion's Eye Diamonds, mind you, so he can... You know, use one to flashback Faithless Looting, and then, yeah, I'm going to counter the Dread Return, obviously, because I don't want to lose. The other one can just go into the other Faithless Looting. Yeah. So, he had a really resilient hand, but...
But Chancellor of the Annex is a jerk. And this is my little spice to the list. I've never seen another... Di what are we doing? I scribed the land to the bottom. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, Oh, my heart. You can't see, but my heart is breaking. Did you have two diamonds in your opening, though? No, I have one. Okay, but, uh, yeah, the, yeah. The first Faithless Living would have drawn me into the second one. Oh. If I hadn't hit stuff. Oh my goodness. I, I don't like doing that. I, eh, I'm it, sorry. It's alright. So, I, I know I'm sounding like I'm smiling, but just happenstance is, is a jerk sometimes. So, okay, the way this deck is supposed to work, supposed to work normally, is, is, we run two copies of Restore Balance. Yeah. And these sack themselves, so I will not have lands. I don't have creatures, the first time this goes off at least. Yeah. And I don't know, the, the number of cards in hand goes either way. But often against a deck that's holding control or ready, yeah. building up to combo off, this will make them discard a few too. Um, yeah, on the yeah. on the play, I actually sideboarded out all of my anti-enchantment stuff. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, as long as I can hit what I need to hit fast enough, I don't think it matters. On the play, that's fair. And yeah. the five card hand was not that good. The six card hand was awesome. Yeah. But not with Chancellor. No, no, indeed. So, but I, I don't think piece. I had seen a Chancellor yet. This is too many. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do for sideboards is I definitely want to have some number of misdirection for, for for forcible decks. I can, you know, redirect their spells to forcible so I don't have yeah. restore balance counter. But aside from that, uh, I want to have cards in the sideboard that I can cascade into if I need to take restore balance out, if it's just not appropriate for the match. So Damping Spear, for instance, or Thorn of Amethyst, or something like that for, side, for storm-like decks. Right. Damping Spear, probably, because it has a little bit more utility. Um, or rest in peace for graveyard decks, things like that. Stony silence for what mud decks there might be, and I can either run two or three of that card in there. Uh, I, I don't know, I guess it'll depend on how many of those answers I can find. But against a lot of creature decks, the restore balance is actually fine enough, and I might even add another to its sideboard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the deck. That's what it does. It tries to cascade into Restore balance or whatever hate card I can play. Yeah. Um, all of the vocal fry. All of it. All right. Uh.